The latest radio to join the DMR community is the Anytone 878UV2+. This handheld radio comes with many exciting features to help improve your DMR experience, but most importantly are its voice recording, greater contact storage, and APRS receive functions. However, because these functions are so new, it can be a little confusing to know exactly what each feature does. So today, we'll cover how these three unique features can help you make QSL cards, save new contacts, and receive critical GPS data. We'll even reveal a secret feature exclusive to this radio. Number one, voice record. A best practice we recommend to hams involved in amateur radio is keeping a call log. This allows you to easily go back and see who you made contacts with. Plus, the log will help you send a QSL card after the QSO. Unfortunately, this can often be difficult to do on the fly, and even more difficult when it's hard to hear who you're transmitting with. Luckily, with the 878UV2 Plus's voice record function, you no longer need to keep a log in real time. With this new feature, the voice record allows you to record for up to 14 hours of transmission time. The 14 recorded hours will save the DMR ID of users during the transmission, as well as the time it took place. Overall, this makes keeping a call log much easier to manage, and will ensure you you won't have any issues writing your QSL card. Number two, contact storage. If you don't already know, DMR is one of the fastest growing modes in amateur radio. According to RadioID.net, we're less than 4,000 DMR IDs away from eclipsing the 200,000 mark. This is a huge accomplishment for the DMR community, but it also means you'll need a radio with enough space to store all those contacts. Fortunately, the Anytone 878UV2 Plus was built with a storage capacity of 500,000 DMR contacts. This capacity will allow you to set your contact storage worries aside and enjoy the freedom of knowing you'll have plenty of space for years to come. Number three, APRS receive. Before the Anytone 878UV2 Plus, you weren't able to receive analog APRS on any Anytone radio. If you're less familiar with this part of the hobby, APRS stands for Automatic Packet Reporting System and is used to send data packets. Anytone DMR radios previously could only use this system to transmit your data, which can include your call sign and location, but you can never see anyone else's data. With the new 878UV2 Plus, you can finally receive that data to your radio. Now some of you might be thinking, why would I even want to use APRS on my radio? For hams involved in backpacking, camping, or hiking, APRS will help ensure others can find your location with pinpoint accuracy. So if there ever comes a time when you get lost, you'll be able to send and receive key GPS data to get you to safety. However, APRS is mostly just a fun way to see where other hams are traveling and where they are making contacts. Bonus round, Bridgecom University. If you've been nervous about getting into DMR radio, you can end your worries right now. We know this mode of radio can feel intimidating. However, with our 17 years of experience in the hobby and dedicated support team, we've put together a course to assure you enjoy your radio. It's called BridgeCom University. With your course comes an array of simple how-to videos and in-depth tutorials. Plus, when you complete the course, you'll get a BridgeCom certification for mastering your radio. The best part is you get this course free with your radio. You now have a better understanding of the new features that come with the Anytone 878UV2 Plus and how they can help you fully enjoy amateur radio. Click below to get your new Anytone 878UV2 Plus today and enjoy these new features for yourself. Thanks again for watching and 7.3.